for the the soldiers because the U.S. soldiers because of the psychological kind of. Oh yeah, you know, we lost friends in oh. in the war, but so he's. Hi, this is Elsie Souza at Bookstore One Sarasota, and um, I'm continuing the conversations with the community, and because it's 50 years of the Vietnam War. We have curated a section of the store devoted to books on Vietnam. And just to point out to you, the refugees and also the Vietnam War. You know, I meet many people in this wonderful city of Sarasota. And one of my favorites, believe it or not, is my manicurist, <laughs> too. So thanks, too, for coming. Oh, thank you for having me. So tell me. Where does your beautiful name come from? So my dad fought um, in the Vietnam War, allied with the Americans, and um, uh, he would actually clear the rat tunnels for the U.S. soldiers. He's a very little petite man, and so uh, um, if he was, to this day, if he was captured, um, you know, he'd be charged with treason. So my dad was actually um, a POW for five years as well. He was caught um, with his. He was a Green Bray in the the army. And once he escaped the camp, he made his way back to our village and where he reunited with my mom. And once there, they realized they could not safely be there. So they escaped to a refugee camp and that's where I was born. It um, borders Thailand and Cambodia. So we were actually on the Thailand side um, and it was run by the UN and it was actually named Site 2. And that's where I got my name from too, like the number. <laughs> but fortunately, um, it's a, a, Vietnamese, a popular Vietnamese name. It means autumn, so it kind of doubles. <laughs> so this remarkable young woman <laughs> is named too for being gorgeous and wonderful, but also for being in the refugee camp number two, <laughs> yeah. which I think is really very, you know, it just says a lot. So, so tell me of your 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 adventures of your family. So. You, how long were you in? You were born in the camp. Yes, and actually my brother was born there as well, and he's uh, three years older than I am. Um, so what you would do is you, it was almost like sites, and so um, they'd issue you this little plot, and then they'd give you a blue tarp so that that'll be your shelter. And my sister, with my oldest sister, um, she said that, uh, I guess daily, a water truck would come, and then you'd be responsible for getting your ration of water. And yeah, that's... Kind of how it was. So then you were in Vietnam for how many years? <laughs> well, my parents were there because I was born um, in Thailand. In Thailand, right. So I was uh, two when we eventually came to America. Um, so my parents were there the whole time. So then you came to America, mm -hmm. and how many were you and your family at this point in time? I'm sorry? It was your parents and you and your brother and how yes. many other, your sisters? Yep, so I have an older, two older sisters and an older brother. Um, and then we were actually sponsored through a church, a Catholic church, um, to Virginia. And then my youngest sister was born there uh, about, about a year later. So I love your story now. Tell me <laughs> of how your family evolved in America and what your dad had to do for yeah, jobs. Yeah, so uh, my dad, ironically, when we were over, um, when he was in the military in Vietnam, he was actually a, a decorated veteran. He was a lieutenant colonel, um, again, Green Beret, Special Forces. Um, but his first job at the Air Force Base um, was a dishwasher. And so it was kind of interesting how, you know, you come from being so high, highly ranked to just a dishwasher at the Air Force Base. And then, I know you were. Yes, and then so my, uh, I was about 13, the summer going into high school, my parents bought a, a restaurant. And so we had that for about six years until I, until I went off to college. So I love your stories, though, because how old were you as the waitress? Oh, yeah, this is, <laughs> well, I was 13, and I had to uh, kind of fib a little and say I was 16 for a couple years. <laughs> Continue on, because here you have this restaurant. You're 13, your sister's 11, your parents are in the kitchen cooking away. Did you speak Vietnamese? I actually can only speak food, because uh, that's what the menu is in, in Vietnamese. So it's kind of funny, because my name's Vietnamese, and then I can say food perfectly, but then I cannot converse in it, but only in Cambodian. So do you, 
you still speak Cambodian with your family yes. when you're all together? Do yes. you speak? We kind of go in and out, like kind of a Spanglish version of uh, Cambodian. Okay. Because so. okay. my parents are very, uh, my mom's English is great. She, when I remember when I was little, um, I would actually help her with the, the citizenship test. It was about 100 questions. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of go through it. Oh, how so, remarkable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But also in the refugee camp, um, I don't think people understand that you get vetted before you come. There are a lot of people that were turned away. So what they do is they give you English horses and they can see like, okay, is this family viable? Can they make it in America? Ah. So I think that's a part that, you know, I think not a lot of people know about because we were actually taking a lot of English courses prior to coming. Well, yours is the great story <laughs> of America. So now you have this Northern family in Philadelphia around the area, right? Mm -hmm. And you're here in Sarasota. I am. So that's why, um, so my, my junior year of college, um, I saw the opportunity, uh, the disparity in the market with our industry because it's kind of f funny because when um, that big thrush of uh, Vietnamese people coming over, they gave them a skill and a lot of it was being a manicurist so my friends um, in Delaware I picked that up as a trade to pay for college and I saw such a disparity in the market like uh, you know the strip malls and like Elizabeth Arden Red Door so I was like you know there has to be something kind of in between uh -huh. and so my junior year of college actually dropped out to I thought I was putting it on the back burner um, to open a salon with my family well I think you are most remarkable oh, you're, you're the story of America <laughs> and the <laughs> story of people coming mm -hmm. you know and your dad and your mom just persevering so thank you too for coming oh thank you for having me I love being here